what, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Southern California teacher was caught on camera denigrating the intelligence of people serving in the U.S. military. In the video, which was recorded in class by a student at El Rancho High in Pico Rivera, California, history teacher Gregory Salcedo, 49, can be heard making a variety of unflattering comments about people who serve, at one point calling them the lowest of the low. The video went viral after it was posted on Facebook. What doesn't go viral? after it's reported on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is damn near breaking news. This guy is a bona fide idiot. When are these teachers going to learn that it's out with the old and in with the new? Didn't have technology in my day coming up like that where you could just record people just like that. I mean, back then, if you want to record somebody, you could get some audio recording you play it back, say, check it out, you know. But now, you get the audio and the video. You can bam, boom. Now, I'm not going to show it to y'all. I'm not showing you the video because YouTube uh, got these policies and things, and, you know, they'll block the video and all of that type of stuff and give my account a bad rating or whatever. So if y'all want to check it out, you know, just Google it and you'll see it. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about this teacher's bold comments about people who serve in the U.S. military being kind of slow. Let's be honest. To serve in the U.S. military, it doesn't take a whole lot of intelligence. I mean, it's not a very like high criteria, uh, criteria to, to serve. Um, this is one of the reasons why even the highest ranking officers find trouble in their industry after they leave the Army or the Navy, the Air Force Marines. It's very hard for them to get work. They can't compete. So let's keep it real. Now, of course, not everybody is slow. Not everybody has a just a GED or high school diploma. Not everybody got pushed through. There are some very, very bright people in the military. But to get in, it just don't take a whole lot of intelligence. Kind of like becoming the president of the United States of America. So let's just keep it real in that regard. Supporting the military does not mean that you can't be honest about the criteria that it takes to serve in the military, all the people, the IQ of the people who are in there, or many of the people IQ who are serving in the military. Doesn't mean that you can't be honest about that. I just feel like the biggest mistake he made was confusing people in the military with Trump voters. No more talk. Yeah.